not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. She has to be in here somewhere. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask, to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. But I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Show me what you did, and then we'll speak.
Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. Another batch transmission returned to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is You brought the spirit's voice back. I guess the old ones like these animals. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. We need to talk. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Now Tuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had- When that name is spoken, secrets or vanish as the case may be. We've been working together, mostly because we share the same and I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful, but unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that, but you and I are trying- Yes, but I would be breaking an oath- About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. You seem to have a history with this voice. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not... She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to... So began our communion. You had a com- Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my fam. She never tired of me. We kept each other's comp- Aurea. I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. That which struggles to survive in our hearts, and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its- As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And this- that's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off- I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The Daemon. I spoke with the spirit many times, first here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. 
She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. Then she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't... What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged. I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels. I wasn't able to return to Thunderstrom until long after the liberation. You said you returned to Thunderstrom. That was the expedition. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, and yet the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone. Her plate, we were crushed. Aratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we felt after. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. When you call the spirit. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous. More besides. Our talk won't let us go. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha. <laughs> There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, and perhaps when released from her bonds. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on war. Speak to my friend, Sekuli. You help her. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. What do you need, Aloy? How's Aratok going to react to being challenged? About as well as you'd expect. Winning at the hunting grounds will... All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh life. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, if you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Werax of Banor to the north. A rogue Asaram has equipped a gang in the Plume Lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sekuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather them. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her... I need to get going. There is much to be done.
Thorana's trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. Can't be too prepared. The trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. There. Time to get that spear. for me. will be happy to have it back. No room.
All mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. First you send Arana back to me, and you've done so much for the Nora. I'm so glad to have my mother's spear. Your mother knew how to craft them. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy. Thank you. It sounds like... Well, because of you, she would have liked you. I know it. No room. You're three to Hodiv, right? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hard little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk? So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadian. She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death. Why do you think Vinasha? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture. Something attacked you from under... Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guarded tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks for- I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I- You're not too bright, are you? <sighs> Well, it has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bu- Ah, you're back. Suicide. I need to get going. You sure do.
stocking up. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Ah, little Huntress. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Huadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carger, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Traps would be nice. Shall we prepare a little surprise for them? Are you sure you don't have any traps, little huntress? Just a matter of time. Take cover up there, behind that rock. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? We're not done. More of the bastards. Get ready. I need to be closer. Do they honestly think we'll let them win? Stay 
below. Well now, seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. This will be useful later. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere.
can't carry more. These will keep. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Edaman, my brother, welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. You must be Aloy of the Nora. After everything I've heard about you, I'm not surprised to see your hand in this. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise. Would you like to buy something today? 